Okay, today we're going to be reading Jessica by Kevin Hankies. New character. What does it say? Hold on tight, Jessica. There's nobody in the wagon, so maybe it might be her imaginary friend. Good jump, Jessica. We're almost there, Jessica. All right. Imaginary friend. <sighs> Jessica is my best friend. Ruthie Sims did not have a dog. She didn't have a cat or a brother or a sister, but Jessica was the next best thing. Jessica w went wherever Ruthie went, to the moon, to the playground, to Ruthie's grandma's for the weekend. My toes are so cold too, Jessica. Not too high, Jessica. Jessica's not ready yet. So it's like Jessica's really there. There is no Jessica, said Ruthie's parents, but there was. She ate with Ruthie, careful Jessica, it's hot, looked at boos, uh, books with Ruthie, once upon a time, Jessica, and she took turns stacking blocks with Ruthie, building towers. If Ruthie was mad, so was Jessica. If Ruthie was sad, Jessica was chill. And if Ruthie was glad, Jessica felt exactly the same. <clears throat> when Ruthie accidentally spilled some juice, she said Jessica did it and she's sorry. And when Ruthie's parents called a babysitter because they wanted to go to a movie one night, Ruthie said Jessica has a stomach ache and wants you to stay home. And when Ruthie turned five, it was Jessica's fifth birthday too. There is no Jessica, said Ruthie's parents, but there was. She went to bed with Ruthie. Good night. Sleep tight, Jessica. She got up with Ruthie. Rise and shine, Jessica. Red and she stayed with Ruthie all the while in between. Ready or not, here I come, Jessica. On the night before the first day of kindergarten, Ruthie's mother said, I think Jessica should stay home tomorrow. Ruthie's father said, you'll meet a lot of nice children. You'll want to make new friends. But Jessica went anyway. Maybe it just made her feel better to have an imaginary friend. Jessica wanted to go home so badly that Ruthie had to hold her hands and whisper to her when the teacher announced that everyone's name, Ruthie and Jessica, weren't listening. Jessica crawled through a tunnel with Ruthie and she took a nap with Ruthie and she showed Ruthie's paintbrush I'm sorry, and she shared Ruthie's paintbrush during art. When all the children lined up two by two to march to the lavatory, another word for bathroom, Jessica was right next to Ruthie. A girl came up to Ruthie and stood by her. Can I be your partner, she asked, and Ruthie didn't know what to say. Oh, look at her, she wants to be your friend. Sometimes you have to put yourself out there to be a friend. My name is Jessica, said the girl. It is, said Ruthie. The girl nodded. Mine's Ruthie, said Ruthie, smiling. And they walked down the hall, hand in hand. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? It's Jessica. Ruthie Simmons didn't have a dog. She didn't have a cat or a brother or a sister, but Jessica was even better. And now it's the real friend. You can see all the things that they're doing. get those so she found a friend all right continue thinking about characters and how characters change and think about this author he does a lot of the same things he does he loves to do again and again with the same language or somebody trying something again and again so be thinking about that as we read more and more about um, his characters and think more how this author does his stuff. And I would say his stuff is again and again. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. And I'm stopping.